to Planetarium's Powered by Worldviewer series. This is video two, customizing your full dome library in the open playground for astronomy. In this training tutorial, we'll walk through the general operation of full domes uh, through the open playground for astronomy. During this, we'll also talk about how to update these user choice buttons to be the full dome shows that you have in your particular library. And then we'll also talk about how to add a few buttons if needed, as well as a secondary page with another set of full dome shows so that you can have all of your full dome shows accessible uh, through this uh, user interface uh, so that they can be played in WorldViewer. So to get started, I'm just going to kind of talk about the general layout of the open playground for astronomy now this version is the most recent release which is going to be uh, version 21-22 and if you do have the open playground and you want uh, to update just shoot an email to sales at illuminati.com now in this particular one I, if i choose return to main menu it's going to bring me to the main menu for the open playground for astronomy and it, this is a little bit different than past versions in that touring the universe is all going to be local inside of this composition and because many people are now customizing their full dome shows this is a separate composition that launches and that way whenever we update the other portion of open playground for astronomy we don't overwrite your customized full dome show layout and so that's why you see it working this way uh, so if you need to update that version just like i said reach out to us at sales at illuminati.com and we can uh, help get that taken care of for you now just like in the previous versions if you click on a full dome show it begins to play inside of the dome now something that's new, new in this version is previously Earth. you would return to main menu just to stop the show the sun there's now a button up here in the top planet. left that allows you to stop that show once you hit that button as you see here it it stops playing the full dome show so that's just a new feature that i i added into this current release um, and then of course the standard four full dome shows that are freely available from the ipa or i'm sorry the uh, International Planetarium Society IPS website uh, and then of course all these buttons that we are going to learn today how to program to our own and so to do that we're going to start by opening up composer and you'll see the first chapter here of course is the uh, list of full dome shows so this is just the full dome shows menu and then of course chapter one is sun our living star then seeing uh, so on and so forth so it comes with eight additional buttons already programmed for you. And if you wanted to customize one of those, for example, what you would do is look at the number. So user choice one chronologically is gonna be number five, okay? So if we look, I can hit number five and you'll see user choice one. Now, additionally, I could have, uh, by hitting stop show, that just brings you back to the main menu chapter. Additionally, I could have found that by clicking user choice one and looking where the eyeball is currently lit. Now you'll see in the current full dome chapters, the track that is playing when- um, A new day begins on earth. When a full dome show the is being displayed is over our currently listed planet. in the space track. A blue That's oasis just how I have it. You could desert. create a track the only called place in the entire full dome shows if you would like. Is that would be perfectly exist. fine as well. So what I'm going to do is just click user choice one. I'm going to navigate to that chapter. And in the space cell, I'm going to right click, load new clip. And it's just going to be a standard video file. Uh, full dome fisheye master and so i'm going to choose file and you will have already have moved your content into your fisheye folder or some other folder located in your content and you will navigate to that and choose the show that you are going to display so for this example i'm going to use some of the shows that we have uh, cosmology and now world viewer is asking how do I want to render this and of course this is a full or a fisheye dome master so I'll just click fisheye dome master and you'll see that it immediately begins to play in the dome so 
uh, that's great. Now we have that programmed, but it still says user choice one. So what we want to do is come up into the GUI text and buttons track and find that button and change it so that rather than it displaying user choice one, we are going to change it to cosmology. There we have it. Now, I am not going to update the title of the button because remember, the title is how all the scripting is referenced. So I'm just going to leave it user choice one because otherwise I would have to go into all of the scripting of the button and uh, update that to the proper title and so on and so forth. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it the way it is and I would recommend you do the same. But if you must rename it, then just remember anywhere that this is referenced in a script, you're going to need to go and update that script as well. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, now you'll see when I hit stop show, user choice one goes away. And the reason it does that is the button actually changes on this menu when it begins to play. And the active button is orange versus all of the other buttons, which remain this uh, blue purple color. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the main chapter and we're gonna find the user choice one button and we're gonna update it to read the same as the button when it's active. So now that we have that, you'll see when we hit cosmology, it begins to play that full dome chapter. It turns orange, everything seems to be working great. So just for the sake of, of one more in instruction, I'm gonna do user choice two as well. So what I would do is just click user choice two to find that chapter to make it quick. And there it is, of course, chapter six, which we know by the way they're numbered. And so we can come down into the space chapter, right click, load new clip, choose file, navigate to wherever you have it located. And I'm gonna choose voyage to distant worlds and fisheye dome master. We're gonna see that beginning to play inside of the dome. Okay, and now I'm gonna come up to the button and I'm gonna up that to, or update that to say, uh, voyage to distant worlds. And then of course we are going to hit stop show and return to the main chapter. And we're gonna update the button there as well so that we have that listed. Perfect. So now again, we have it here. We can click Voyage to Distant Worlds. It begins to play that full dome show and we're done. Now, what I wanna show is what if I, you know, I have these eight choices and now all of a sudden I need to add one or two more full dome shows. Now I'm not necessarily gonna want to, of course, copy another page like this and have 12 more options if I only have two more. So what I would likely do is, is duplicate one of these buttons and add some chapters. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna come and look at our user choice five button because we are gonna want it right below that. So I'm gonna go to user choice five. I'm gonna, while we're in the main menu chapter, right click, duplicate. Now we have an additional button. So what I would come is obviously come to this new button and make it user choice nine and change it here as well. And you saw the button change. So now we need to move that button's position. So I'm gonna come down to the offsets here and I'm gonna drop it down to 0 0.075. Now you would of course wanna make the spacing better by moving these buttons around, but I'm not gonna take the time of doing that. You would do that just by going to each of these buttons, sorry, and changing your offsets. Or you could also do it by creating a grid of course, by adding a grid here and then moving your buttons around manually. So uh, here I'm gonna come down to the new user choice nine button and I'm gonna also update it to say when they click it, we want it to play chapter uh, for user choice nine, which we haven't created yet, but we will, of course. And now we have a, a button there, okay? So if we come to this chapter, okay and we right click and say new chapter and what we're going to do is come and make links and clones of certain things okay and so what we'll do now is 
we're going to, of course, link the background. So now the background, and we're going to come and play this chapter so we can watch as it happens. So uh, we'll come and grab the chapter title and copy it just to save time typing. And I'm going to paste it in and change it to user choice 9. And now we're going to come in, we're going to make duplicates and links of certain things. Now, what we need to do, of course, is make sure we're linking the right items. And once we know we're linking and cloning the right items, uh, then we, we can be safe. So we're going to basically link everything except we are going to paste a link from a previous chapter for the user choice 8 button because we don't want that to be orange and we're going to paste a clone of the user cho choice 9 button so that we can make it an active button by making it orange so what we're going to do here is start with this one and we'll say paste a link we'll grab the next clip and paste a link and we're just going to continue to do this for all of the items that are going to be linked which is nearly everything Now here for user choice eight, I'm actually gonna go back to a previous chapter so I can get user choice uh, eight inactive, okay? And so I'm going to do that one and paste a link. And now when I come in here, I will grab user choice nine and I'm gonna paste a clone, okay? And now I can come in here and make the updates that I need to do. Uh, actually, I could. I need to paste these links still because we, we need those as well of these buttons. So we'll paste those. All right, so here we are now. So let's come to our user choice nine. And this, of course, is going to be our active button. So we're going to put the word active behind it. And let's come down to file. And we're just going to change it from being the bluish purple button to the orange button like it is in other chapters when it's active and now of course we have user choice 9 and we would update this chapter like anything else we could come down to space right click load a new clip choose file navigate to that particular full dome show and here's cosmic colors for example fisheye dome master we see it begin to play in the dome we come up here and we would then, of course, uh, we live on a in. colorful planet. Sorry, I needed to mute that or I just stopped showing it so that it wasn't the volume much over me. So, of course, now we have the user nine there. We would come here and we would update, you know, the text for this button and we would update the text for the button in the main chapter as well. So now we could hit stop full dome show, bring it back. And of course, there we are, now we have a button. Next, we will show how to start with the original eight buttons and create a new page to have a, a, another set of 12, rather, sorry, not eight. So uh, we will begin that. So I'm gonna reload our original version of this full dome shows all right we've reloaded our composition so that we're starting from scratch again and in this section we'll talk about uh, let's say we had already reprogrammed all these user choice buttons but we still had more shows and we had more than just a few so we wanted a whole second page to choose from so what we would do in order to accomplish this goal is the first thing we're going to do is we are going to come to the full dome shows and we need to place a few buttons. So what I'll do is I'm going to come to the return to main menu button and I'm actually going to duplicate that because I want it to look similar to this button, but I want it to be down here and say next page. So I'm going to come to that button and here we have it. And we're going to rename that to next page. Next page. So now we're updating what the button will actually say. And what we're going to do is 
move that GUI button down to this lower section here. So what we're going to do is come to the offset and let's check out 0 0.075. That's actually great. Let's leave it right there. So now we've got this next page button, but we need it to take us somewhere, of course. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, bring in another chapter. So we will have this one um, and we're going to right click and we are going to say new chapter and we are going to copy this and let's come here and we're going to paste it and we're just going to say two because this is the second page. So now we've got that and we're going to copy over our, we're going to paste a link because we want the background to be the same. And we're going to paste a lot of other links uh, of our main menu uh, items. So what we will do is we will come here and we will paste a link of our header, or I'm sorry, our footer and of the accent bars. We're going to paste a link of the full dome shows. We're going to paste a clone of this one and we'll see why in a minute because we're going to say page two here. And we're going to copy or I paste a link because that will stay the same. We're going to uh, paste a link of return to main menu because we want to give somebody that option. And our stop show, we're actually going to paste a clone because this is only stop. This brings us back to the first main menu. And if somebody's got a second menu and they want to stop that show, we don't want to make them go back to the first menu. So we will take this one and we will paste a clone. And our next page, we're just going to kind of leave for right now because we aren't positive whether we will need a third page or not. So. Let's come back to full dome shows and let's look at changing our full dome shows of uh, this icon to full dome shows one. And we want to do that just because that's what this says here. And so we're going to come here and we are going to come to that item. Actually, I didn't want to change the chapter. I meant to come to this cell and I'm going to grab this clip. And I'm actually going to change the clip name to just being called subtext header full dome shows one. And I'm going to make the text say shows and then page one. So now we can see it says full dome shows page one. If somebody comes to the secondary page, it, we want to come in here and we want to change this one to see being number two. And we're actually going to come here and I'm just going to copy that uh, that text because it's all spread out nice already. So I'm going to grab that and come here. I'm going to paste that text in and change one to a two, of course. There we go. Now we have page two. So we need to come back and we need to make it so that next page opens that chapter. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the chapter we want it to play and say copy OSC. And because we might use a link of this button to do additional pages, I'm going to say uh, play chapter next. Uh, instead of that, I'm going to say uh, or I'm, I'm going to choose that. So here we go. And now this is one of the rare instances I actually use um, play chapter next. Uh, and that's because I want to use the same next button if we do more than two pages. So what will come down to GUI events and we will right click and we're going to say paste and replace. And now if we were to click this button, it brings us to page two. Now, what we need is the ability to get back to page one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we are going to we're going to grab our uh, next page and we are going to paste a clone and let's go and grab this clone and we're going to change this to being called previous page and we're going to update the text 
And then we're going to come down to GUI uh, position, and we are going to move this over some. 0 0.015, there we go, that looks great. And now we have a previous page button. So if we click, uh, or actually we need to update that. So we would want that to play chapter previous. So we're gonna say play chapter previous. And that is gonna be the script that we are gonna right click and paste and replace. So now if we came here, of course, and we hit previous page, it brings us to the main menu and we hit next page, it brings us to the second page. If I wanted to do a third one, I could right click, say new chapter, and I could come through again and I could paste all of the different links and uh, so on and so forth. So what I would do is just come in and I would of course paste a link, a link, 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 link. We would want to paste a clone of this because we'd make it three. We'd want to paste a clone of this. And the previous page, we would paste a link. So, oops. And of course, we would not and then we would need to come back to the second one and we would want to paste a link of next page there if we had three pages so then we'd paste a link there now you saw that pop in we could go to next page brings us to the third one which we haven't put a background on yet previous page brings us to the second page and then of course we can go back to the first page so let's update the stuff that we did there so we need to come to shows and we need to make this one for three and change it to page three. And we need to copy this or link this background. I'm gonna go ahead and save because I'm actually gonna start delivering it with multiple options for uh, libraries so that people don't have to create these pages. All right, so now that we have these three pages, uh, we could just go through and we need to duplicate buttons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a button here and I'm gonna say, paste a clone because I only want it in this other chapter and they're all gonna be different buttons. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. All right, so now here we have another page that has a lot of options. So we need to come in here now, and I'm gonna just update these to being called user choice nine. And I'm just gonna rename all of these buttons here. All right, so all of the buttons have been updated text. So now we have uh, everything that we need, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to now do some additional duplication um, to create the chapters that actually play these different full dome shows. And so when we do, before we do that, we want to come in and change the uh, scripting to have the proper scripting. So we're going to come to the first button. I'm going to paste it in and this is going to play user choice nine. This would play user choice 10. I'm just going to copy that so that I can just quickly do this. So this would be 11. I'll quickly do this and we'll get back. All right, we're just about finished up here, but I wanna just remind you that of course, 
if you wanted to name your buttons and name your chapters accordingly, you would be updating, of course, the name of that chapter here. So uh, just as a reminder, uh, if you if you wanted to really customize it to yours. But like I said, uh, you can stick with user choice 19 and just up, update it. Uh, it just makes it chronological. So it's still see, easy for somebody to understand. All right, now that we have those buttons all programmed, I'm going to just save because that's a good practice to get into. All right, so now we need to do the same thing for this one, which we still haven't renamed this chapter. So we need to make this full dome shows three. So let's copy that. All right, so let's just go ahead and we're going to cop or uh, paste clones into the chapter or the page three. So I'll do that quick and then we'll get back. Always make sure you're grabbing the new button because as you see when you're doing this it after you paste a clone it grabs all of them so you need to make sure that you are paying attention to that. Okay now that we've copied all the buttons we want to update Full Dome Shows 3 so we grab these buttons and we're of course going to just update the numbers so now this would be 21 but we got an update in three spots. I'm going to do it all at once now each time I go in to each button. So I'm grabbing each of these 22 and as you see I'm updating in all three spots so I don't have to come back to any of the buttons and you can see them updating as I go. So I'll quick finish these up. All right, so we have all of our user choice buttons in now, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. It's just good practice. And so now if you look, we can go previous page, look at those user choices, and we can go back another one to the first page, and there we are. So now all somebody would have to do is come in and update these user choice buttons, just like you would up, or like we learned earlier in this lesson, and they could have 36 shows stored as part of their full dome experience. And so uh, in order for that rest of that to work, what we need to do is build all of these chapters for user choice nine through 32. And so what I'm gonna do is just demonstrate how to build a few of those uh, and that will wrap up this lesson and then I will build out the rest of them of course and go from there. So what I would do is I would come to the end and I would find user choice eight and I'm going to right click and what I'm going to do is I am going to create a new chapter and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, name this chapter full dome shows user choice control copy and then change the, the number, of course, just like we have been all along. So now we have user choice nine. So I'm going to paste links in of everything I know I'm linking in every single chapter. So I'm gonna start with pasting all of the links of our uh, user interface, and I accidentally just pasted a clone, so I'm gonna just get rid of that. So we'll paste a link, and I'm gonna actually play this chapter so that I can see it uh, of course populating. So we're just of course pasting all of our links that we need right now. And I just realized that our page full dome shows page one is linked on every chapter um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come to that and I'm going to right click and say save as a template and I'm going to say shows page one and I am just going to quickly delete that which is actually going to delete it from the main page because it was a link so now if you look if we come back that's gone so I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to right click say load new clip from template and go to user and here we need to find it here it is shows page one now it is back um, 
And now when you're actually playing a full dome show, it's just not going to say full dome shows. It's just going to say full dome up here. Okay, so let's continue on with pasting. So now I'm going to play that chapter so I can see as we're building. All right, and so we've pasted full dome. Um, so now we need to paste in the open playground. So, oh, that's already done. My apologies. I'm sorry, we just need our buttons at this point. So what we're going to do is just copy our buttons over. So we're going to paste a link of the main menu. And we are going to not have previous page or next page. We just want stop show on the chapters. And so this one is, is of course, not the right stop show. Um, and so what we need to do is we are actually going to uh, come back to full dome shows. And the first chapter, I'm going to click Save. And we have stop show, and this is stop FDS page one. And this is going to show full dome shows, uh, and that's correct. So in this chapter, we need the stop show button to stop and play full dome shows two. And of course, in this one, we need our stop show to stop or to show, show full dome three. Okay, so I'm just going to come back to the main menu and save this really quick. All right, let's go back to our chapter. So here is the chapter that we're working on. Now, option uh, this is going to be for user choice nine, which is part of menu two. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to uh, the menu two button and we're going to grab that stop show button and we're going to paste that link because that's the one that we need in this chapter so we'll paste that link all right and now i can duplicate this chapter uh, for all nine through twenty so what i'm going to do is just right click and say duplicate chapter and i'm going to rename this one to user choice ten Okay, and I'm just going to keep duplicating. All right, so now we have our chapter 20, which is the last one we need. So before we finish the rest, we need to right click and say uh, new chapter. And we're going to paste links of everything except the stop show. Okay, so we'll paste a link of our background. And we're going to play this chapter so we can see it. And then we're going to come here and we're going to just paste in a link of all of our standard items. And then we're going to paste a clone of our stop FDS. Actually, Rather than that, we'll just go to chapter three and we'll just paste a, a link in of that stop show, which is, of course, stopping the show for uh, for the chapter three. And I'm just going to make sure that didn't happen here, too. All right, so we'll come to stop show for chapter three uh, and we're going to go back to our newest chapter and we're going to right click and we're going to say paste a link. So now, of course, we have our stop show. So now uh, we can duplicate this chapter for chapters. Uh, so this is going to be chapter 21 through 32. So I'm going to duplicate all of these chapters. All right, we have all 32 chapters now. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to say stop show, which brings us back to the, this list and I'm going to go previous page until I get back to the main menu chapter. I'm going to click file and save. So now that we have all of those next pages, what we need to do is we need to duplicate or and link these buttons accordingly. Um, 
so that we can have it displayed in each chapter and so uh, we we then can operate if we hit user choice nine it becomes active so on and so forth so i'm going to show a couple examples of these all right so now we need to add the buttons like we have here when you play a full dome show of course it shows that button as active a new day and begins. you can stop show so if we went to the next page and we chose user choice nine all of the buttons disappear and we have to see why so we're just going to navigate to user choice nine so to do that i'll click on the button i'm going to find it by looking for the eyeball that's on and here we go so what we're going to do then is we're going to do something uh, to speed this process up a little bit okay and so what we're going to do is we are actually going to create templates out of all of these buttons and so i'm going to right click and say save as a template and i'm going to say uc9 for user choice 9 and i'm going to just do that for all of these All right, now that we've saved all of our user choice buttons as templates, let's go to uh, chapter nine again, or the uh, rather user choice nine, and let's put in the text and buttons that we need. So we need to load a new clip. It's gonna be from template, and we're gonna say user, and we're gonna say UC, and we want UC nine, and so, uh, I'm going to grab UC9, and now we can see that listed here, okay? And I am going to actually um, come in here, and I'm going to, for this particular one, I'm going to make it the button orange because I need it to be orange in this chapter. All right, so now I'm just going to add the rest of the buttons. So I'm going to say load new clip, template, user rather and I want UC 10 and I'm just gonna do this for all of the buttons that I need all right so now in chapter uh, user choice 9 we've got all of our buttons added so if we put a show in here like we learned earlier and changed the buttons we would have it functioning just like the other so if I hit stop show it's gonna bring us back to page 2 I could choose user choice nine and it brings us to an active user choice nine. So what I need to do is just duplicate all of that for the next chapters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, in, chap in this chapter, I'm just gonna load a new, oops, I'm gonna load a new clip and I'm gonna load the template for UC9 because the, I can't paste a link from the other one because it uh, is an active button and I don't want it to be active in this chapter. So now you can see we have our user choice nine. So now I'm gonna just, for user choice 10, I am going to also load the template. So I'm gonna come to user choice 10 and grab that out of here because this one is gonna be active in this chapter. So I need to change this to being the orange button And now I can come back and I can paste links of these other items. So now I do that, I got 11, 12, so on and so forth. And so I would just continue going through chapter by chapter and doing this. And then I would redo all of it, of course, um, in order to, uh, do it for page three right so i'd have to start over by doing nine and making a template of all of the buttons so on and so forth but i could keep doing this and all we're going to do is just paste in these different links that i need and we are all finished uh and you would do the same thing for chapter uh three or page three rather all right, so now you can see both user nine and 10 both have the active. You would just keep repeating that for each of the different chapters until you finished all the way through 
uh, with the appropriate buttons in each one linking and, and cloning like we showed here. So that would be how you would update your Open Playground. That will conclude our session today for the customizing your full dome library in the Open Playground for Astronomy. Thank you and if you ever need any assistance, you can always reach out to support at Illuminati.com. Additionally, you can always reach your sales rep at sales at Illuminati.com. Thank you.